So we have to prove algebraically that the difference between the squares of any two consecutive integers is equal to the sum of these two integers. Now to help you understand that, I'm going to do that in numbers first and then change into letters. So if we're going to do the difference between two consecutive numbers, then that might be 6 take 5, for example. If I did 5 take 6, I'd have a negative difference. I'm going to keep the difference positive. Still the difference between the square. Now it says the difference between the squares of consecutive numbers, so let's, the difference of the squares then would be 6 squared minus 5 squared. And we're told that this would be equal to the sum of these two integers. So the sum of these two integers would be, so it's going to be equal to 6 plus 5. So let's just quickly check that, that would be 36 take 25 equals 11, which is true. So we've shown it works for numbers, but we've got to show that it works algebraically, so that really means letters. So um, I've got one number that's one more than the other, so let's think of our number as n, so our first number would be n plus 1, and our second number would be n. Now I have to find the difference when the numbers have been squared, I have to show that it's equal to those two numbers added together. So that's what you're doing algebraically. So, and again, it's a good idea to put the large number first to avoid negatives. It keeps everything simple. So expanding the brackets, I'm going to get n squared plus 2n plus 1 minus n squared equals 2n plus 1. So on the right-hand side, we can see that the, so the left-hand side, shall I say, that the n squareds cancel, and you're left with 2n plus 1 equals 2n plus 1. So that's it. You've proved it. That's the answer.